Hi. Sorry I'm so uh, late. Yeah, Terry's done two massive shits in his in his cage. I'll have to clean those out after. Luckily, he's asleep right now, so he hasn't really noticed, but man, they're big ones. They're whoppers. Anyway, today is your 12th month sub and 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 anniversary. 99 Well done. Well done. Well done. Thank you very much. And and the and the anniversary. Hey, sips in my dreams, you are my dominatrix. Much obliged. I'm glad I can uh, offer you that service in your dreams. Um, listen, I, I we're here. I, I can stream for a bit. I had to mind the baby all morning, and um, it was tough. Man, that baby poops a lot and cries a lot and uh, doesn't really sleep that much and you know, the usual baby complaints. I'm just joking. She was all right, actually. My son stayed home as well, so we were watching like horrible histories and talking about Star Wars and uh, we're talking about uh, anime. I don't know anything about anime, but he seems to know uh, a bit about anime. He's been playing Human Fall Flat on his Switch. He got some Lego that he's really like happy with. He's been playing with that, so it was pretty fun actually. It was nice. We just um, all this time, the whole time, I was like uh, dancing around the kitchen with the baby uh, so that she could sleep and stuff, and um, and uh, hanging out with him at the same time. So it was pretty good. Yeah, Annie Mae, that's the one. Uh, let's play some Zomboid, shall we? We'll uh, we'll play a little bit of Zomboid. We'll continue on from where we left off uh, yesterday. Does that sound good? Okay, in we go. Um, we were um, we were looking for a needle, right, so that we could start doing some tailoring. We have to fix some of our clothes. We could really do with getting a better weapon as well, right? We are ridiculously tired, very hungry. We're bored. We're a tad weepy, and we got a heavy load. Um, our skills are. Um, Okay-ish. Carpentry is nearly there. We're so close to being able to make this uh, rain barrel. Once we make that, we should be able to um, collect some rain, make some more for the roof so that we can plumb a sink in and stuff. Should be good. Should be good. Um, first things first, let's uh, make a tinfoil hat. No. Let's, um, let's make a salad. Open a jar of radishes or a jar of tomatoes? No, we're just gonna add random vegetables to... I think I'm out of tomatoes, by the way. We're gonna make a really boring radish salad. Hope you and the fam are doing well. We're doing great, thanks so much. Uh, we don't wanna add bleach to this, funnily enough. Bleach is about the last thing we need to add to this. We're adding, um, we're almost out of radishes. Can't believe we've almost gone through that whole harvest of uh, radishes. Didn't I get a whole bunch of potatoes? Oh, maybe I didn't. I thought I harvested some, but maybe not. Radish salad, fresh. Uh, plus 23 on happiness for eating this bad boy. I guess this guy just doesn't like a radish salad. I think vegetable salad is the one that you, you strive for, right? We're definitely holding some stuff. Oh, it's the mac and cheese. Oh, yeah, we were gonna we were trying to do something with the mac and cheese if you remember. Okay, let's get these radishes in here. Let's get this pepper in here. Let's get this salt in here. I'm holding this uh, this empty cooking pot and stuff, right? Bowl the pot. We've been using a hunting knife. Mac and cheese can go in there too. Uh, vitamins. Bottles of vitamins. What the hell am I thinking? Let's put all this crap in here too. And then let's get these ripped sheets in here. This is all the stuff that we got out of the uh, money. This is all the stuff that we got out of the car, wasn't it? We, there's a whole bunch of stuff we took out of the car. And that's why we're so... Um, so heavy. How come World War II online sponsorship got cancelled? 
Man, I don't know. You gotta ask the devs. I mean, uh, we were all ready to go, and then all of a sudden, uh, it just fell through. So I, I don't know what's going on. I thought, you know, I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, we we didn't get that sponsorship that I was looking for. I, I wanted it so bad, you know. Just the way that it goes. Um, we have a hunter's knife, and uh, where is that? Where is that nightstick? The other nightstick. Father, I'm hungry. The zombies are all ready. I am not. Yet. Come right. feed me. Let me suckle on your nipple and consume that sweet, sweet dad milk. Gaga goo goo and shit. Gosh. Gosh darn it. Gosh darn it. Um, okay, I, another thing that I realized that we have on us is this tire pump. Um... Your most recent offspring, thank you so much for the 10. Uh, I appreciate that, thanks. Wrench, welding mask, trowel, suture needle, screwdriver, scissors, propane torch, lug wrench. Lug wrench is not something that we need to be carrying around with us, it turns out, at all. Let's have a quick smoke up while we're out here. And uh, we'll eat some chips as well. Advanced electricity has not been read. How's this Jenny doing? Uh, generator info. You're doing great, Dad. 55% baby. Nice, 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 nice. Um, this stuff should be ready to harvest. Seed bearing radishes. I like that. Bing bong 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 bong. Ba dong dong. Bong ba dong dong. That's my. Um, my rendition of the, um, the song that plays when you skill up. You know the one? Nice garden nerd. Thank you very much, Jess. Thank you. Uh, it's time to sow some seed. Some radish seed. Looks like we got a lot of radish seeds. We can't get enough of these radishes. We may be doing some more farming today because we're going to need a whole bunch of crops. Some crops. Um, right, cigarettes, no. We want to put the radish seeds in here. 14 fresh radishes. That's, that's really nice. That's, that's good. 14 fresh radishes at Ram Ranch. Let's eat these. We're going to try to uh, stay awake as long as we can today without dying. Uh, so that we can sleep at night. Because gosh darn is it ever frustrating. Hey, what's happened to this um, house? What's with all these cracks on here? Does stuff like deteriorate after a while? Is it falling apart? Subsidence? <laughs> I mean, possibly, yeah, but I just didn't realize that that was a thing in the game. It's decaying, alright. Vehicle mechanics. We read some more um, books, didn't we? So we might be able to do some stuff here? No, we don't. We still can't work on this car. We can work on truck and we can work on newer sports cars, I believe, was the other thing, right? Buildings don't deteriorate, but roads do. Oh, it's just cracks. It's just aesthetics. Just, just as things start to... Uh, it's not actual decay. It's just... It's, just looks like it. I see, I see, I see. Good. Uh, insecticide spray is not needed. Put it in here. We don't need to carry around that. Um, what's in my fanny pack? Currently, um, there's nothing. You can fit one thing in there, apparently. Um, okay, in my backpack right now is a magazine that we'll read while we're standing out here. We've got garbage bags, can opener, we've got some antidepressants, advanced electricity, which we'll put inside. Just whiling away the day here. Angler USA, Volume 2. One of my favorites. One of the best ones. One of the best ones I've ever read, honestly. Just the best. Why is there so much shit on the ground? Man, I don't know, okay? I just like, this is where I decided to store a lot of my shit, alright? Look, it's not that much stuff. It's just, it's all, it's it's all electronics 
it's like a it's like a lab in here, you know. We're we're doing a lab in here. Let me just grab this stuff. Actually, let me grab this scrap wood as well. We'll put that into the um into the what you call it in here. Add fuel to scrapped wood. Maybe you can rest instead of sleeping in the day. I don't know if rest affects the ridiculously tired. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't know. We're about to. We're gonna find out about it. Let's grab this scrap wood as well. And oh, there's a garbage bag in this trunk. Nice. Um, let's get this scrap wood too. We need the garbage bags for uh, another project that we're working on, right? You like my green mittens? They're actually gardening gloves, thank you very much. Okay, let's add some more scrap wood here. Okay, good. And um, let's have a... What's, um... I've got this empty bowl, but how come I can't make a bowl of anything? Like, I can open the canned corned beef, but I can't add the corned beef to a bowl? Maybe I just don't possess that cooking skill yet? Put eggs in a carton, open the jar of tomatoes and radishes, open an egg carton, or just make a salad. canned corned beef. Maybe I don't have that much stuff. We don't have all the stuff I thought I had. 25 hunger down the drain. This is canned corned beef. What did I decide about the roof and water collectors? We're gonna do it, but I can't get up onto the roof just yet. Um, I need to build stairs, which I don't have the carpentry skill for, so we're gonna go and do some uh, carpentry pretty soon. We're gonna go and um, dismantle some beds and dressers and shit like that. Uh, we're severely uh, depressed as well. We're gonna have to just take some uh, antidepressants here, I think. It's the only way. Okay, it didn't really help. Because the drugs don't work. And they did not work. Will I ever see the drugs again? Vehicle mechanics? Is, do you think that this is a more modern sporty car? It is not. Can't work on this one. Do you think we can work on this one? We do need some mechanic skill as well, right? We want to do some more stuff. Nope, not that one either. So that means this one is a no, and that one will be a no too, because we actually have another one like that. So it's just the trucks. Hey, hope the new baby is doing well. The new baby is doing really well. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, let's take, let's go on a spin here. Now that we got the van down by the river, Let's go take apart some uh, houses. Yeah, I slept already. Uh, there's nothing stored in my front seat. I have like a whole bunch of food. Do we need the headlights? Probably not, right? We could live in a van down by the river, yeah. This is the ideal van to do that. Do you also have a new baby? Nice. Uh, we're not gonna go to the um, to the car graveyard, but we are gonna go to the houses like next to it and just start start working our way through some of those, getting some carpentry skill going so that we can get some rain collectors. I think the turning is just coming up here actually. Just beyond this. There we go. 
Boom, 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 boom. Looks like we're like in our work van here. Oops. Looks like we got some company here. Let me just get my knife out. Call that a knife? Okay. Good. The reason we're stopping here is so that we go over here to this house. I'm going to start taking it apart. Start working on some of these doors and stuff. I thought I got um, attacked there, but I did not. Well, I mean, I did. Mid door disassemble. Oops. God, this window has really s saved my bacon a couple of times. guys around here right now. Jeez. Maybe we should have just closed the door. Seem to be under attack all the time. There's a radio here too. Grab this. See, who needs to paint the walls when you can just do it like this? This is the way to do it. Where have all these guys come from? Like, why is it so busy around here? Anybody know? There's more guys out here now, too. Shut the lights off. There's no lights on. The, uh, the power is all out. Oh. Wait. Did I not bring my saw? Or did it break or something? Shit. There's somebody else here. Salt and pepper. Orange soda. Press Q for stealth mode. I've already got stealth mode engaged. I pressed Q already a long time ago. Got it constantly on. Um, you can never have too many lighters, right? Okay, well, I, I don't have my saw. I, I don't know how I don't have my saw, but there you go. I can dis disassemble this bed. But beds I'll leave until last because they're good to uh, sleep in while we're on the road here, right? Don't really want to sleep in the van necessarily. There's somebody over here. Hello? Oh, it's you. All this just to get some skill ups. Um, right. We'll start taking apart all the doors, I guess. It'll give us a little something. There we go. God, the music goes crazy, eh? <clears throat> Listen to this. Insane. Alright, let's uh, fill all of our bottles up with whatever water is left in here.
Hmm. I have tea, by the way. It could be cat's eyes that makes it look like the uh, the lights are on, yeah. So we can't disassemble these counters and stuff. Or the chairs. It's mainly just doors and stuff until we find our saw again. We're doing a lot of DIY work here. The purple rattan chair. Can you not take the bulb out of there? Shelves I don't think we can disassemble either. Okay, we're going to have to come back here. Maybe we come back here with the sledge. I'll just go get the saw, I guess. I didn't realize. I mean, there's some more doors that we can do, but... Check some mailboxes and stuff here, too. Windows you can't disassemble. Oh, there's a magazine here. Okay. What are we holding on to that is... Too much. Just drop all this stuff. Put that in there. We got our fedora that we've taken off, of course, because of the um, the witch call it. Drop that. Let's dismantle this. The water bottles. The hammer. Antidepressants, hunting knife, a revolver. Um, and then in here we have cigarettes, magazines, ripped sheets. Oh, yeah, this whole radio probably weighs a little bit, doesn't it? Just smoking in my van, you know? Why not? Why not just have a little smoke in the van? Let's put all these water bottles in the van. Remember that time when I was like, hey, we should um, bring a lot of food around in our, tr in our car with us. And now none of it is here. Remember we had all that pasta and everything? So we have to go back and get some of that stuff too. The lighter. Propane torch. Helpful. Put that in there, and then we got some water bottles on us. Nice. Hey, Sips, you should bring more food around with you in the car. Man, I know. I don't know why I stopped doing that. Maybe we'll find a needle in one of these houses. Or maybe we just need to look in one of the haystacks. <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. Check the trunk. I didn't put anything in the trunk, I don't think. Oops. Is it possible to, like put metal sheets on the front of your car, like Killdozer style, and then just go around and run over all of the zombies. I like the idea that you you keep the same car, and you, you fix it up, and you just keep using it, right? Repair the muffler and stuff like that. Gosh, I hope so. Man, me too. Alright. Let's see. What's in this... What is in this? We got a full... We got a metal pipe. We got a knight's... Like, there's actual good stuff in this trunk. A magnum, a hand axe, a baseball bat. Like, the baseball bat is so good. I'm kind of getting used to the hunting knife now, though. Kind of like it. It's pretty good. Uh, we can make some rice. See, again, we have uh, an oven. And a pot. Like, how come I'm not getting the... Um, Oh, is it because I need to fill the pot with water? I need to I need to fill it with water, right? That's why. That's why you gotta do you gotta fill it up with some water. Empty pop can as well. Let's grab that. 
Um, yeah, I'm like kind of running out of food here. It's insane. I didn't think uh, it would be possible, but here we are. All of the canned food that we were just merrily eating is all is is all starting to go now. Okay, where's this spice big spike baseball bat? Go in here. Same with the empty pop can. Um, trowel can go in here. How obese is my character? Um, he's he weighs eighty eight. He's not losing weight. I think we're doing all right in that sense. So we can make radish salad. We can actually open these. We can open these uh, one of these jars of tomatoes to make a salad that actually has some fresh tomatoes in it. So we have a radish. Let's add a tomato. Salt. See, now it's vegetable salad, so we won't get dinged, right? And then we just eat these radishes as well, as many of the fresh ones as we can. And then we just want to put a little bit of pepper in here. Man, Gerald Acker is going to eat like a king tonight. Look at that. Oh, it still gives us unhappiness, actually. It still does give us a little bit. Okay, put these in here, the salt, the pepper, the empty jar, the empty bowl. So we can make, we can put open jar of radishes. So we can't actually put any more stuff in. Oh, is it because I'm out of sugar? Oh, you know what? I'm out of sugar. I'm probably out of vinegar as well, aren't I? Got some ketchup here though. Got some pasta. Okay, um, hang on, I just need to do a very quick cleanup here. Um, good, matches, pasta, let me grab this pasta. Grab these pops. Aha, I'll grab that too. And then let me put all this stuff in here. Pasta, ketchup, pop, vinegar. Okay, now if I do this, I should be able to. No, I still can't do a uh, jar of, of whatever. I have lids. I got jars. I got a jar lid. Huh? Weird. I don't know. Pasta. I don't know what's going on. Uh, TV is not useful anymore, is it? It's not actually um, useful. There's nothing. Uh, there's no stations anymore, right? After a month, they stop broadcasting. It's like the first couple of days the TVs are useful, and then after after a while, they're just they're no good, right? The comforting no signal tone, though. Yeah, that is good, actually. I, I do like that. I do like that. Hiking bag, yeast. Okay, we can sort some of this stuff out after. Just make sure there's no um, food where it shouldn't be. And this scrap wood all needs to be put on the f fire as well, right? Check if it shows up when you have some water with you. I do have water with me. I've got lots of water with me. So yeah, I don't know what's what the deal is. Uh, we can create these. Um, oh, is it in here? Crafting, carpentry. Oh no, it's not. It's on this menu. What is it that we need? Door, stairs, wooden floor, bar, furniture, rain collector. So we need four planks and four nails. Luckily, I do have the planks. And I have the nails as well.
Good old rain collector barrel. I don't have enough bags for two. No, I I got enough for one though. It's a good start. Furniture, rain collector barrel. It's a good start. There. We can now collect rain. Rain collector barrel. Add water from item. No, we want to take water from it. It's going to be tainted water, but we'll boil it up. We got a big pot. We can boil up a ton of water and just uh, do it that way, right? We're a bit drowsy. We're a little bit peckish as well. Um, I'm still trying to find where I put all that food. I'm sure I took it all with me, right? I didn't just, like, put it in one of the seats of the van. No, I didn't. There's an, there's an uncooked cockroach in here, though. Yeah, water electricity is off now, yeah. I didn't leave anything under there, either. Bon, bon. Yeah, I don't know where all that food is gone. I must have uh, accidentally left it in the other car. There was tons of it. I thought I brought it all with me. I'm sure that I put it all in my bag. There was like cereal, everything, wasn't there? Do you guys remember? Did I just not transfer it? I'm gonna have to go back and get it. Oh, I put it all on the floor, whoops. So it's all just sitting on the floor out, out there. Let me go see. Let's see where it is. There's cereal in the trunk. Oh, did I put it in the trunk? Oh, here it all is. Sorry, I'm stupid. Look, it was all here. It's all here. Well, anyway, we need to go get more food. We're, we're dangerously low. Alright. It's go time. the animation that's so good isn't it oh hang on a second god I'm stupid actually although having said that hey there we go look rain barrel it's rain barrel time we're getting it we're getting all the rain how many days is this I think we're at a month now I think we survived about a month. Oh my god. I forgot about all this stuff. Okay. Just get all this stuff out of this car. As an emergency food stash, absolutely. We always seem to tow stuff when it's raining. Everything's starting to fall apart now? Yeah, well, I mean, it's no maintenance, right? Oh, I didn't find out if I can destroy the fences with the uh, sledgehammer. No, it's one thing I haven't done yet. Not all of these are cars that I, I used, but a lot of them are.
Okay. Hey, uh, Raven7, thanks so much for the 879. Been a fan since 15 and turning 25 in two days. I've had a bad home life so for 10 years. You've really been the best guy and dad to me in a way. You'd play games I couldn't afford to, and now I can play uh, Planet Zomboids while watching. It's got to be said. We love you. Hey, thank you very much. Man, I hope things are better for you now, too. Sorry to hear that. Okay. Another another car that we can junk in the in the scrapyard for some huge skill ups and stuff okay let me just run in here quick unload some of this crap that we've got in here we don't need to bring all this stuff with us advanced tailoring what a can opener some cans of oats Okay, this is all going to be good stuff to have here, right? Got our cigarettes, garbage bags, instant popcorn uncooked, orange soda. Yeah, don't need that here. Propane torch, salt. Vitamins and shit as well. We got this hand axe. Hand axe. Put that in there. Let's get these books unloaded too. Expert fishing. One times magazine. Got to put the pepper in there. Advanced tailoring as well. Not quite there yet. In fact, I don't think we've done any tailoring just yet. Um, we're still overloaded. Put the hammer in there. This compost bag, used on crops to increase growth speed and harvest. Okay, we're going to put the compost bag in here. This is how we take compost out of there and lug it to fertilize our plants. What's going on with this guy here? Water levels parched. Health stunted. This is a receding tomato. Nice. Well, I just had like some anxiety there. I thought it meant that. I thought I was going to say that my hairline was receding, which is no good. Used on crops to increase growth speed and harvest. Okay, let's fertilize these crops while it's raining. Uh, fertilize. 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 Okay, you can fertilize four tiles with one bag. Okay, we're good. Oh, man, we're super tired. We're gonna have to do another midnight run here. Why am I so tired so quickly? I barely did anything today. Um, what happens if you read a, a book ahead of time chat? So like, for example, farming here, we got the multiplier. Um, if I read the next level of farming, which is what? Farming for uh, advanced farming? You just can't do it. All oh, right, okay. You just can't do that. You're not allowed. All right, where's my garden saw? Where did I put it? Oh. Okay. Expert electricity. Okay, so what do we not have? Uh, carpentry. Oh, cooking we can do. So cooking level five is what? Cooking for intermediates? No. It's going to be advanced cooking, right? Level five to six skill. Okay. So we should get multipliers for cooking now too 
Any recommendations on what to do when I start Project Zomboid? You just have to survive. You just have to s simply survive. What's my generator's health status? Below 20%, they might blow up. If the generator blows up and the shack burns down, I will actually cry. I'm not even joking. Like uh, you'll you'll see a grown man break down on stream here. Okay, that's good. Carpentry. Um, so we need the next advanced carpentry five to six as well. We're ridiculously tired, but we're still going to sit on the ground and read this before we start doing more carpentry, which we are planning on doing because we need to be able to make stairs, right? Oh, it's chilly. Look at the temperatures dropping. It must be winter soon. It's like 16 degrees out there. Holy crap, we're going to have to put on some layers. It's going to warm up now, though, because it's daytime, right? We stayed up all night reading. Winter's coming. Okay, look at this multiplier for carpentry level 5. It's really good. Okay, perfect. It's 11 o'clock and we've done all of our reading. So advanced carpentry is good. Um, farming, we've got the multiplier, but we're, so the next level of farming when we reach it, fitness and strength can't do anything. Um, maintenance, I don't know about maintenance. Short blade, you can't really get books for any of this stuff, right? Short blade and all that kind of crap. Let's get a, let's get a nice sleep and we're super hungry as well. Oh, yeah, we're actually dying from hunger now as well. Wake up. Wake up, you dummy. Okay, so cooking-wise now, we can make a pot of soup. Okay, pot of soup made. Let's uh, light the fire with uh, ripped sheets and a lighter. Okay, and then let's put our pot of soup in here. Um, and then let's also just have a orange soda quickly. Just so that we stop losing health. So we're losing a little bit. I hear wolves outside. Okay, this bad boy is cooking. Takes a little while, but it's going to be worth it, right? Unhappiness, thirst, and hunger, minus 30 when it's all done. Watch us just drop dead here, <laughs> waiting for soup to cook. Right, down the hatch, baby. Okay, feeling good. We're in some discomfort here. Could probably do with eating some more. Can make another pot of soup if you want. We can make a bowl of oatmeal. That's always nice too, isn't it? I wonder why we can't um, do anything with eggs. I guess we don't have the right pan or something. This is just minus 10 hunger straight up. In a bowl. Drinking soup right out of the pot? Well, yeah, I mean, don't have time to sit down, if that's what you mean. Okay, um, empty cooking pot, empty bowl, empty bottle, empty orange soda bottle. We don't want that. Can of oats, we don't want that either. Um, perfect. We don't need this revolver. We're not really shooting stuff. 
so we don't need this either. And then we'll put these in here too, right? Okay, it's it's night time. Of course it is. What do we need to do now? Oh yeah, we wanted to check the status of our generator, right? See if it's still okay. Um, it's in 81% uh, condition with 46% fuel left. No, I didn't turn the stove off. It's nice and toasty in here. It's 17.8 degrees outside. How's this stuff doing? Looks like we've got a bit of growth here. We can harvest this stuff too. Potatoes. Blooming potatoes. Do we want to wait for them to change state again? So that they're like... Potatoes with seeds? Seed bearing? I don't really know where to go now. Like, we, we're, we've kind of... Um, We've done a lot in the, on this map, right? I guess we still need to do some carpentry and stuff though, right? So that we can get um, stairs built and then more rain collectors built as well. Head to the next town over? I don't know. I think there's still a lot to loot here. We need to I, like sustainability is our is is our goal now, right? We want to we want to fully sustain ourselves with rainwater and. Living off the land in our shack. Go on a nice road trip. Yeah. I'm gonna get some of these bodies off the road as well. I'm gonna mess up all my suspension. I should have brought the sledgehammer too. We should just like sledge down sledgehammer down a house when we're done with it. Look at all the bad guys here. There's tons of them. Why are there so many of them? Oops. Maybe they could hear me doing all my DIY. Holy crap. That was something else, wasn't it? Uh, red digital watch. Black digital watch. Grab it. Okay. Something doesn't feel right. We got some minor damage. I think the minor damage was from starving, wasn't it? Jesus Christ. Like, are all the zombies here? Why are there so many of them here? Another one out here. Um, yeah, I don't know why they're all here, honestly. Um, I'm just here trying to do some um, carpentry. Quite happily just working away on my carpentry here, and um, they're here all the time. 
I don't know what attracted them here. Is it the noise of my carpentry or are they spawning in like close by or what? The smell of dead bodies. The smell of my gaming. They have a passion for woodcraft. Well, be that as it may. Look at this. <laughs> oh my god. Car the carpentry is off is off the charts. Anything in here? No. Oh, looks like we got a, another customer here. There's more customers out there too. Peace. two of them uh let's close this actually even though i did dismantle all the doors already it's kind of stupidly as well oh there's something in the freezer here rotten peas okay Can openers we don't need. <laughs> I love that. Oh, it's full of stuff. Do we need a kettle, do you think? I guess we probably do need a kettle if we want to make tea. So we need to start collecting some appliances and stuff. I think we need a frying pan as well, don't we? Hello? It just doesn't want to stay open. Okay, uh, fork, dish towels. Oh, it's on uh, super speed, whoops. Okay. We gotta be careful who we fight now because we're getting tired. I won't take all these nails because we can just come back here and get them when we need them, right? Um, it's not safe to sleep here at all. Like, all the doors and shit are missing. It's also 10.20 in the morning. We're a little bit hungry. Um, hunger, thirst, and unhappiness all goes away with red wine. Nice. Um, sure. Don't want all this stuff. Don't want this stuff either. Let's get rid of all that. Oh, scrap electronics we, can't, we need though, right? For the generator? Is that right? Okay. Well... We got rid of, like, a house, pretty much. And we got some carpentry skill. Which is pretty good.
Oh yeah, the whole floor of the shed is scrap electronics, you're right. You are right about that. Yeah, I know. I, the Think uh, campaign would be really upset with me right now if they could see. I just drank a whole bottle of red wine and I'm ridiculously tired whilst driving my van. Context matters, though. It is a zombie apocalypse that we've survived for over a month and there's no other living human beings in this town that we've seen, so... You know? There is that about it. Look at this. We can wash ourselves in here. That's really nice. We can uh, we can drink from it, which is dangerous. We can fill our kettle with it and then boil the kettle. Fill up this whole kettle. Make some tea. Where's the kettle of tainted water? Let's put it in here. Let's uh, light the fire with uh, rip sheets and a lighter. So, sterilize by boiling in an oven or over a fire. So, it's happening right now. We can sterilize this by boiling it? How long does that take? Can't you just use the sink? Yeah, well, I need to hook up the... Um, I don't think the, the rainwater barrel is hooked up to the sink right now. I think it has to go on top. We have to do some roof work up there. Kettle of water. Oh, it's done. It's actually done it. So we have some fresh water in here now. That's really cool. We can boil the water and then fill our bottles with it. And we have some drinking water. We also have these things that are pretty good too. Sterile water for a sterile man. I wish. I wish. <laughs> I wish I was. Um, okay, good. Make a bowl of oatmeal. Crafting one. Eating oatmeal. Making another bowl of oatmeal. Eating oatmeal. Just, just gonna keep making oatmeal. It is crunchy oatmeal, yeah. Okay, good. We're uh, we're now well fed. Okay, I'll fill my water bottles. Um, and we have to get some sleep. We have to get some sleep. We could probably do it some more farming before we go to sleep actually now that we have the rain water barrel as well oops we need more food chat this is the shack of dreams we, we, we're, we're playing Dude Sim Alaska right now, pretty much. It just happens to be zombies in it. Cabbage grows quick. Okay.
There's a gap between the farms so that the disease doesn't spread. We can contain the disease to one tile. I think that's why you put a gap. So these are blooming potatoes. Blooming. And blooming. Okay, they haven't turned into seeded. Harvesting. Remove. Oh no, I don't want to remove that. I want to remove this plant. Remove grass. There we go. So what's this if not grass? And what's this? Do you need like a different thing? How do you get rid of these like little fucking plants and shits? Oh, it's weed. Alright. Like, weed? Weed? <laughs> Bro, weed? I love weed, man. I love weed. Cabbage, did you say? Okay, Let's open these cabbage seeds here and see. We have 50 cabbage seeds. Let's sow some cabbages. We're gonna have so many cabbage stews. Be awesome. Oh, I don't wanna sleep on the ground there. Okay, cabbage is planted. Um, let's open some carrots. 50 carrot seeds here too. Let's get some carrots going. Might be able to make some awesome stews and stuff, right? Alright, that's good. We just need it to rain now so that I don't have to go manually water all this stuff all the time. Because F that. Let's put my screwdriver. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Where did all those watches go? We want to uh, dismantle all of them. Okay, good. Put that in there. This in here. Some worms. In the fridge. That can go in there too. Alright, good. We're in, we're in great shape here. Let's go to sleep. Why is the floor messy? I That's where I store all my scrap electronics. That's the storage area for those things. Okay, what are we gonna eat now? Make a salad? Make a bowl of oatmeal? Oh. We need to boil up a cooking pot full of water here too. That's all my rainwater gone. After a couple months of trying, my wife just told me she's pregnant. What no on way. earth am I in for? Holy crap. Um, you are in for a uh, he heck of a ride, babyface P. Thanks so much for the 10. Congratulations. Enjoy uh, when it happens. It's going to be it's going to be great. Pregnante, baby. That's the one. Um, right, okay. Let's do that for now. 
let's make some shelves. A small bookcase, double shelves. A big bookcase, we can't do it just yet. A rain collector barrel. We could make a chair and a table. I don't want to make any of that shit though. We just want to make a some double shelves. So we need two planks for double shelves. Okay, carpentry, double shelves. I love this. Okay, I think the job is done. Yeah, it is. Okay. Let's pick up this water cooler and let's place it here. Okay. And then let's grab both of these. Let's put out this fire. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to make um, place pasta in the cooking pot or place rice in the cooking pot. A cooking pot with pasta, or 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 prepare some some soup. I mean, we can put this stuff. The pot of soup. Can we can we put the can we prepare soup in the microwave? We kind of want to get rid of the microwave though, right? We want to we don't want to depend on the electricity. We don't want to do this generator thing forever. If possible. Could boil the eggs. You can't put, place the eggs in the, into the uh, into the things though. I think you have to get a pan. Okay, so we're going to add water from the kettle. We're going to add water from the cooking pot with water. This is all safe water in here. Okay, good. Alright, and then what we're going to do is we're going to drop this on the ground. And this on the ground. So they, they, those can fill up in the rain. Bring them in, boil them, and then we can... We can fill this up as well. We can fill our water bottles. We can drink from it as well. Mmm. That's great. Okay, next job. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Let's grab all this stuff. Okay, not that one. In here, we want to put the box of rounds in. And on these shelves, we're going to put all of the, these this electric crap. Amplifiers, batteries. You never know, right, when you might need some of this stuff. The tin cans, not so much, though. Light bulbs. Let's put that in there. Uh, radio receiver. Radio transmitter. Electronics, put the trowel in here, broken nightstick can go somewhere else, let's put that in there, electric wires, a lighter in here, nails, hunting knife, okay, we should be good, I think. Is there anything in here that I'm carrying that I don't need to be carrying around with me necessarily? I think we're good. I still need a needle. I like how it's put books there. It's clearly not books though. But we could put another like bookcase under there if we wanted to, right? Now look at how nice and clean it is now. Better? 
Are you guys happy? Or not even slightly? You guys are annoyed? This is all gonna be just crap in here. Let's put this bandage in here. Hand axe, plank. So we want to get this hand axe on our belt left for when this hunting knife goes. Okay, perfect. We're hungry. Of course we are. We're always hungry. I'm cooking this popcorn. Look, it's almost done. Nice. <laughs> okay, feeling good. Just in time for it to be daytime too. Alright, let's go and do some stuff then while it's daytime. Instantly hungry, yeah, I know. It happens. I feel like we've got a really a really nice setup. Look, I like how the everything is starting to become like overgrown now because it's been like a month. All these like weeds and bushes and stuff appearing where there were never weeds or bushes before. Tow all of the cars. Where to though? We need a junkyard. Oops. Where does this lead? Oh. Directly into the danger zone. Oops. Try to connect them all up like a train. I don't think the van will be able to pull them all. battery type sport the engine is totally fucked we can't uninstall any of this stuff either because we don't have the right mechanics skills okay it's time to leave could have taken it home and taken it apart, but again, I don't have the right mechanic skills, so there's no point. I want to take stuff home that we can take apart completely to build up those those skills. Oh, I know where we are. I know where we are. This is just like town here. We're just taking a different route in. All right. Let's have a look. Let's see what we can find. No? Oh shit. It's like a it's one that people were just about to move into. <laughs> well, f well, f fuck your stupid shit that you that didn't you didn't move in with. Oh, a bag of concrete powder and some fertilizer. I'm a thief. Hell no, I'm not. There's no food or anything in here. It's all just like new stuff. They got their fridge. Got the washing machine. You can actually use this thing? Holy crap, we could just like wash all of our clothes. I just usually take them apart, but I guess you can actually use them. All right, well, nice ensuite here. Just have a drink of toilet water.
All right, wrong house. Who do we have here? Um, it's a ranger. What's the colorful dong under my camp? It's just that. It's just a very colorful dong under my camp. Oh yeah, the mailbox. Nobody lived here, so there's probably nothing in it. work our way over here. Oh. Dude, the hunting knife is really good. Holy crap. Okay, we'll keep uh, dismantling these. We could grab this barbecue, maybe. Remove the propane tank, at least. We need propane for it, though. I think our I think our stove is probably better, right? Let's put the propane tank in the car. Uh, propane tank. Let's eat a cereal as well. So rotten lemon. There's a cooking pot and a kettle. Canned chili. Come to Papa. An empty bowl. We don't need. Drink that. Oh, there's a large deluxe bath there, too. Okay, good. There, we can we can work in peace in here now, look. Oh, I keep forgetting to stop the uh, the time there. Um, drink. Yeah. Fill our water bottles. Wash ourselves. Sure. Wash my um, hunting knife. Sure. Disassemble the chrome sink. Disassemble the oak counter. This one's full of stuff. We want to be able to make stairs so that we can get uh, the rain barrel stuff set up at home better, right? Do I have enough? Um, I need more garbage bags too, right? Hey, somebody left a whole bunch of stuff on the ground here but there's just empty bottles oh not the red wine though some cologne some adhesive tape what do we need adhesive tape for if anything nothing probably i have enough for one more collector oh okay cool a comic book here that we could read later and a newspaper the rest of this stuff can be chucked out oh what are these screws 
I've had nails, but not screws. Um, oh, there must be stuff in here. Some socks. So how come I'm getting screws now instead of nails? Okay, we're going to sleep in this bed. The game, the game decided to screw me. Nice. Uh, let's disassemble this TV. Um, oh yeah, it's probably all this crap, right? Empty bottles, light bulbs, red light bulbs. Oh, something in here, some headphones. We'll make sure that nobody sneaks in on us. Dismantling everything in this house. Man. I'm loving this. We know where we'll, we've been, right, now? When we, when we come into these places? Oops. There's some nails. There's just piles of nails and screws all over the place. Yeah, absolutely. Don't want the cologne. Medicine cabinet. Okay, we're a bit hungry. Uh, let's uh, also dismantle this watch. Throw some of this crap on the ground. I think that's a job well done, chat. I think we just completely owned this house. There's a bunch of furniture and stuff out here that we could do too, but... Oh, look at this. We're gonna have a whole bunch of water when we get home. Why don't I move into one of these bigger houses and get out of my shack? I love my shack. And it's easier to, to live in a small shack and defend it like that, right? I'm like the wet bandits. Check out this hustle. Got a, I got a big hustle going here. these curtains. Let's have a little root around in here and see. Is there any food? There might be some canned food. There's a sponge. Canned soup. Alright, we're eating it. I'm gonna drink it all. Let's close that too, just in case. Oops. It's a sponge. We don't need a sponge, right? Metalworking. Okay. Do we have company? I thought I heard some company. Maybe not. Man, these skill-ups, though. 
doing great with these. Let's disassemble the TV. Shelves. This door. These shelves. Immediately we're hungry again. What if our shack floods? Is it possible? Oh, adhesive bandages. A razor and some tweezers too. Okay, I don't think we even have tweezers. Okay, I gave myself a bit of a wash before I disassemble the white sink and the white counter and the fancy toilet and the large deluxe bath. We're getting better. The uh, metal pipe we could potentially use as a weapon, right? I'll take it with me just in case. Just in case we run out of stuff, right? Okay, the rest of the kitchen can be disassembled. Getting a little bit tired. We still need some... Um, a needle. We still need one times needle. Anything in here? Some melted ice cream. It's not rotten. It's not rotten ice cream, so I'm going to eat it. Why not? Try looking under a bridge. I don't even think I've seen a bridge. Oh, yeah. All right, let's have a sleep in here. It's a bit risky. It's a risky sleep. It's gonna melt in my stomach anyway. Oh, we're terrified for some reason. It's still daytime. Let's have a quick smoke here. Doctor's office? I think I've been up there, actually. I think I've been to most places in this town, at least. Uh, water bottle. Bourbon. Do, 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 do. Oh. I didn't finish eating my ice cream. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Propane torch, screwdriver, can opener. All right, we're good. All right, that's another house completely ransacked. Skill-wise, we're, we're looking really good here, actually. We can almost make stairs. We can almost make stairs. Oh, unread. Family car models. The missing ingredient. Luckily, I checked that. 
We needed that one. Since I'm joining this, do you think you'll ever re revisit the long dark? Yeah, I might actually. Can I go around and uh, take apart houses and cars and stuff in that game, or what? Disassemble this radio as well. Um, there's some dog food here. Some sugar. Some salt. Some crap that's just going to go on the floor. More floor crap. That's all fine. Let's wash ourselves. Don't want to waste this water, right? A roasting pan and a baking pan. Okay, we don't have a roasting pan or a baking pan, but we do have a cooking pot, so we don't need another one. A frying pan would be really good too. Okay, we'll disassemble this microwave chips and bleach red wine and vinegar too let's eat these peanuts and eat these chips as well the bleach can go on the ground and the can opener can go on the ground as well do I have a crack pot a crock pot There's some rotten cheese in here. That's gonna stink. Cheese is gonna stink. One of these days, that cheese is gonna really stink bad time. <laughs> bad time? Big time. Okay, we might sleep here tonight. If we get tired enough. But in the meantime, we can disassemble all the interior stuff. Is there anything in here? Painkillers? rest of this stuff can go on the ground. Um, disassemble the fancy toilet as well. There's no plumbing left in the world, so it doesn't matter that we're getting rid of- Look at this fancy carpet! We're lucky around here, actually. There's not that many zombies. We are playing on the really easy mode, though. We're going to have to start a, a new playthrough um, soon where we don't play on the easy mode, right? Now that we're a bit better at the game, we could probably try Survivor, at least. Yeah. Sucks. Okay, we're a bit tired. We're gonna go sleep in this bed. What's in here? Ooh. What was that noise? Did you hear that? It's like an owl or something? Okay, let's sleep in this bed. We are really bored and hungry too. I can plumb a sink into my rain collector. Yes, I know. Oh, that was you farting. Interesting fart noise. Not judging. All right, another job well done. We hit this one hard. Um, opening canned chili. 
eating it. Littering. Drop that too. And what am I holding here that's so... Oh, the baking pan. Some dog foods and stuff. Fertilizer is quite heavy. Let's put that in the van too. That'll make a big difference. Um, we got some dog food in here too. And oh, the roasting pan. Okay. So we're still collecting some of this stuff, right? Give me two secs, chat. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'll just be two secs. Hey, sorry about that. I, um, man, I, I just like, I, I lost myself for a minute. I went to the bathroom, went to the toilet, and then I, next thing I know, I had like a welding mask on, a propane torch. I was like trying to dismantle my toilet, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing? I had to stop myself. Hmm. I got, I got so in the, uh, it's so in the mode, you know? Lost myself for a sec. Just surviving out here, yeah. Um, man, the, the fuel tanks on these things are incredible too, aren't they? You gotta get, yeah, I gotta up my skills uh, in game and in real life. Man, this has been, this has been a nice one doing this. We've dismantled so many homes in the neighborhood, it's incredible. We're still going as well. We're still not quite done. Let's check these mailboxes for anything good. It's it's deserted around here. It's pretty easy to get into all these houses too. Okay, let's close the curtains and then we can get to work. White fancy chair, gone. Premium Technologies Television. A distant memory. Anything in here? No, oh, maybe on the other side though. We'll leave this bed, we'll sleep here tonight I think. Get rid of all these doors. Look at the yields that we get from this stuff now, too. Because I think because our skills are going up. We get more stuff. Anything on here? Some more adhesive tape? I don't know if we need that for anything, but I'll just take it anyway. Oops. Toothbrush? Peace. We don't need to do our, we don't need to brush our teeth in this game, right? It's not, Im it's not imperative. Okay, fancy toilet, gone. Deluxe bathtub, fucking gone. Um, do I have anything to eat? some dog food looks like it's dog food for dinner tonight it's gonna give us plus 50 unhappiness unfortunately hey we got to eat though I'll tell you what will give us some happiness back though we'll have us a, a quick smoke drop some of this junk on the ground Hot bean water and oatmeal. Mmm. Delicious. Here we go. More tinned goods. There's just like five nails in here.
I, lo I love how we just have all of the tools that we need on us to, to do this stuff. It's great. Baking pan? Did I get a baking pan? I did, didn't I? Baking pan is something that we have in the van. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Carpentry 5 has been unlocked. So we can make stairs now. Carpentry for intermediates and a club hammer. No thanks. We don't need these. Oh, look at all this rotten food. What a shame. When the electricity went out, we lost something. Food. Feeling hungry again. Whoops. Hey, Dad. Hey. Remember when all the houses in Satansville were burning down? Yeah. Because you built the entire town out of one-way roads. Yeah. Love you lots. <laughs> yes, I remember. Thank you. I do remember. Um, not my finest moment. It's got to be said, but there you go. Okay, scrap electronics. Can go in there. Amplifier we drop. Aluminum I think we drop too. Piece of tape? Comic books? Oh, we want to read this, actually. Let's just sit in the van and read this. We'll read this auto manual as well, right? Um, let's read this. Wait, did I read it? Unread. Oh, I guess he just doesn't want to uh, read it. Oh, the tape is for weapon repairs. Okay, good. Oh, because the engine was on? Oops, I broke it. Broke that one too. There we go. I'm in. Anything? Just rotten food. Okay, where is this? Let's read this. And then drop it since we've read it already. Uh, value tech radio fridge oh potato seeds nice hand fork not so much um, hey here we go look at this more foods. Another can opener that we don't need. We've actually gotten um, a decent amount of stuff here today doing this. Just dismantling all this stuff. I mean, there's like a million planks that we can come back and get and nails if we need them too. Not that we need either of those because we can always get them uh, close to our shack, right? Do we want to keep a washing machine just in case? What's this bedroom like? Oh, it's a nice one. Close the curtains in here. There's a video game here. Okay, good. All right, let's go to bed. We'll just dismantle some of this stuff and then we'll, we'll we'll have a sleep. We're pretty tired. My guy has the big sad, I know. It's just all work and no play has made um, Gerald a very, very unhappy man. We do have some antidepressants that we could take.
Maybe we should take some, actually. There, that should slowly chip away at uh, our sadness. I think it's just from dismantling all of this high quality furniture. Have you ever built IKEA furniture before? Usually your the sadness factor at the end of that is pretty sky high too. So I think it's like something to do with that. This guy doesn't like flat pack furniture. We're just doing uh, so much DIY here. It's incredible. All these skill ups. Assembling IKEA furniture gives you euphoria? Man. Not me. I'm sure we have a metalworking um, book, don't we? I'm sure we have one. This is an antique television that we just disassembled. Okay, I think this one's done now too. Good. Look at how long our hair is getting. What? The lock is broken. How is that? How could that be? Can you make a sweater with your own hair? Man, I don't know. I don't think so. Let's drop some of this crap out of here. And then let's eat some canned potato. Drop that. Let's open a canned tomato as well. Do 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 do. My hair. Okay. Man, this neighborhood doesn't know what hit them. All of these houses, like, totally dismantled. Let's go home and make some stairs. Get get to work on this rain collector uh, on the roof. I'm gonna take a little shortcut here. Some fine houses around here. Wow. There's a lot of them here. Oh, it's a jack. There's definitely been some respawning. Like, they're all over here, which has been cleared out, like, multiple times. Hey, look at all the grass growing in the, uh... It's, it's neat how the, the game 
gradually changes, right? Like the the aesthetics of all the buildings start to change, all this grass growing everywhere. It's really neat. Sight of my junkyard and driveway. I live like a king here. Okay, these have. These are both empty. I left them outside hoping that they would fill up, but they have not filled up. Okay, we're gonna have to fill our empty cooking pot here. And we're going to also fill our empty kettle. How's this thing doing? 40%, 63% condition. We're going to have to try to repair it at some point, right? Um, where did I put this? Okay, I've lit it with a newspaper and a lighter. Um, hang on a second. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here, isn't there? Do, 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 do. There's another empty watering can here. Okay, baking pan. We might be able to, to make more stuff now that we have this. And a roasting pan as well. Uh, we got some electronics to drop off. Propane torch can go back in the bag. Metal pipe um, can go into here because we need it. A hammer that can go back in the bag. Lighter, can opener, bourbon. Got some bourbon. Maybe we can cook with the bourbon. Hey, um, Kalki, uh, Kal Kal thanks for so, so thanks for the five gift sub. Sorry, I can't speak. Thank you very much. Man, this one is still. Look at that. It's receding. It's stunted. It hasn't been watered in 171 hours. Okay, these watering cans have tainted water in them. I'm just going to water these plants, see if we can salvage them. I guess not. Water? No, you can't. It's just, it's gone. There's no, there's no seeds in there. It's just gone. I can't believe it. Well watered, well watered, well watered. I'm watering all this stuff and I don't even need to be. We need to check for diseases and stuff, I guess, is the, is the, is the good one. Got a sink to them? Some young potatoes. All right, well, I'll just do some watering. Might as well. I don't know if I get farming skill for doing this, but whatever. Potatoes.
Oh, I think I used the water bottle there. Um, spaghetti bolognese. I've got lots of seeds and stuff too. Adhesive tape, red wine, sugar. More vinegar. Some pepper. Some salt. We <laughs> got a pipe wrench in here too, actually. It's pretty good. Okay, so in terms of cooking, we can make a jar of radishes, a bowl of oatmeal. Uh, we can place ingredients in a roasting pan. And place pasta in a cooking pot as well. Place rice. We could prepare soup. Place ingredients in a roasting pan. Oh, eggs. Here we go. Add a random egg. We can roast eggs. I like that. And add some random vegetables. Egg and radish roast. That's disgusting. That is so gross. Fresh eggs. Let's get some pepper on here too. Gotta get some salt. Let's get some tomatoes in there too. Egg and vegetable roast. Another tomato. Okay, good. How's that? This stuff is ready to go. We can leave it on there though. Um, where is this roasting pan? Oh, yeah. Okay, it's cooking. Uh, add water from cooking pot with water. I'm going to fill this thing back up. And add water from the kettle of water as well. And then fill our empty bottles. And then put these things back in here. Where's the kettle? The kettle, I'm holding it. Okay, good. Man, this is great. Salt, pepper, water bottles, screwdriver can go in there, hunting knife, all the stuff that we need. We're carrying most of it around. Adhesive tape to repair stuff. And then we have all these seeds that can go out here in this box too. It's a lot like Fallout, isn't it? In that you just come back with a ton of crap and you have to sort it all out painstakingly, which uh, I love doing. So there you go. Should we cut our hair? How do you cut your hair? Info? Burger flipper? Hair. Change. Cut hair for a buzz cut. Cut hair for a messy curly. I'm cutting my hair right now. Nice. Change. Shave my beard. Trim beard for chops. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, good. Um, what do we need to make stairs? Oh, we're not at the right carpet. We gotta go dismantle some more stuff. We're not at the right carpentry thing. Still. Looking like looking like a real Gerald. Getting fat. Oh shit, yeah, we are getting fat. You're right. It's all that dog food that we ate. We still haven't found a needle to repair our uh, clothing with. We're a little bit drowsy and we're hungry. We're just waiting for this to cook, right? Oh, it's burning.
Whoops. I think I gave up eating halfway through. How did I get the old oven? I found it in a warehouse. And I transported it back here in my van. What a time to be alive. Okay, let's have a little sleep and we'll go back out and dismantle some more stuff. Actually, we might do some reading tonight because there's some uh, there's some stuff that we don't have modifiers for, right? Tailoring, we've got the multiplier. Mechanics, we got the multiplier. Metal working, we do not though. So do we have a metal working book? Fishing, good cooking, mechanics. Maybe we don't have a metal working one. I thought I found some. Electricity. How to use generators, master metal work, the farming magazine, the metal work magazine. Okay, so I don't have metal working is the, is the one I'm missing. I have master, but I don't have... Where can I go to get that? Is there like a, a, a shop somewhere? The metalworking shop in Metaltown? Fuck, we're gonna have to head there. I went to the um, to the bookstore and I th I'm pretty sure I cleared out the bookstore of all the stuff. I read the metalworking mag as well. I did all that. Okay, so there's nothing more that we need to read because we still have the multiplier for carpentry six. Cooking, we're gonna have to get the multiplier for Oh no, five and six, right? So it should be fine. It's farming that we're gonna need the multiplier for for five and six. First aid, electrical is getting there. Metalworking, mechanics is kind of getting there as well. Trapping, fishing. Oh, we haven't done fishing or foraging yet. So we should have um, fishing for beginners and foraging. Forging for intermediates, trapping, wait, trapping? Trapping I've done, so trapping for beginners is done. First aid for beginners, we've done. It's fishing and forging. Angler USA, okay, so we need, we still need some like entry level books too. Do, do, do. Today was a late stream, yeah. School or the other Enigma books? Yeah, I've never done fishing in this game. I don't know what it's like. I mean, you can do it. I just never have. Ooh, uh. Uh. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna head back into town. Um where I don't know what we're gonna do in town. It might be time to start heading out to, like, different parts of the map. Really been in the bar much. There's some more stuff to get out here, was there not? I don't know. This place has been looted, like, millions of times now, hasn't it? I just need to do some more carpentry. Hunter magazine and wow what a fine and electronics too mailboxes though so good Jesus
Okay. Anything worth... There's a riding helmet and sport shorts. Fingerless gloves. Do, 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 do. These have all been looted by me previously, but we have not taken apart all the stuff yet. Which is what we're going to do now. All night long, baby. matches we'll take this other stuff though we do not need timer in a baking pan not needed um just gonna wash myself quick too haven't done it for a while. <laughs> Don't judge me. Okay, it's all good to get rid of this stuff. Get rid of this door too. And that one. A deluxe shower. Okay, good. It's just a bunch of toys and crap here that we don't need. Um, we're not tired. Let's get rid of this fancy bed as well. And these chairs and shit too. We're so close to being able to make stairs. Which is gonna sort out another part of our base, right? Man, we're gonna have to we we we're gonna have to restart though, because it's just like I, I feel like it's like a bit too easy now. You know, there's not that many zombies. We're never really under like a lot of threat doing this stuff, you know. It's too late to to restart now though. Look, it's like the village people. The whole crew is here. boots. Uh, we're gonna wear these. We're gonna get some new boots. The condition of these ones was starting to um, starting to wane. Okay, we'll dismantle that. Kentucky baseball shirt and long sport shorts. Tempting. This guy's got a cowboy hat here too. Look at this. Howdy, partner. few of them the hunting knife is really good it's fast it's really fast I'm just gonna have a quick smoke here um, shoes, nothing. There's another guy over here, I think. Are they inside? 
I'm playing on Builder right now. Because, um... We tried uh, the, one of the harder settings to start with. I don't play this game very often. I mean, I have played it more recently, but... We tried, like, uh, Survivor or something the first time, and it was too hard. Frustratingly so. So we toned it down. But now it's now that we've played a bit more, it's starting to be a little bit too easy, you know? A beige sink. F6 is the key for the time speed up you're using if that helps. Alright, okay. Alright, that's, that's helpful enough, I guess. Thank you. Oops. Master Farming. I'm pretty sure we have a copy of Master Farming. Pretty sure we do. So is it so, like in in the game? Because like again, it feels like stuff is respawning. Either that or stuff is just migrating over here. But will we get to a point where we've just kind of like? cleared out this town or is it impossible without like sandbox rules to limit the respawning or whatever without sandbox rules they just respawn so is that what's happening then is it are they respawning here or is this just like natural sort of um Zombie migrations. I did not want to take all that stuff. Dish towels. I don't want the baking pan either. Hordes drift. All right. They migrate, but also zombies respawn in chunks after a certain time. Okay, so how much time are we talking here, though? Like. Have we been playing this save long enough for them to do it? You saw a streamer that had a trailer attached to a car and it can carry a lot? Nice. Seventy-two hours without player activity. How big are like the chunks then? Like Is town far away enough from my um, From my uh, my house for them to do it Or what not sure in builder mode, but more zombies spawn while you drive all right Oh, is this my roasting pan from home that I forgot to put away? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm gonna have a sleep here. A risky sleep. I should go on a road trip across Kentucky. I mean, I have enough fuel to do it. Zombies will want their own space and expand into cleared areas. All oh, right, okay, so we'd have to do it like we need like a sandbox rule set to to do to have something like that then. Basically. Front right seat, middle left. 
glove box. I don't want this stuff. I don't want this crap. Did I read that? Already read. Okay. Nice. Just owned him. Just gonna check these mailboxes quick. We're in a in a Cul de sac. Cul de sac. These are both already red. Okay. Cul de sac. Um, I'm gonna open this can tomato and eat it right out here. <clears throat> my skill at for carpentry fuck we still have so much carpentry left to go before we can make stairs um how far is it to go to like a, a new place i guess it's pretty the map is huge right like we're in riverside right now at, like our stomping ground is kind of like our farm um, and we've sort of ransacked quite a bit of like the, the suburb area over here. Look, I'll show you what I'm looking at here. So this is our farm here. This, this place here, you know, the drive, we've got the driveway. And then, so we drive up here. So we're currently just in, um, here somewhere, right here, I think. Oh no. That's not the that's not the cul de sac that we're we're in this one here. We're right here. We just looted these mailboxes. So we've dismantled a couple of houses here. We've done a couple of houses down here as well on the last run that we did. Um there's a school that we haven't been to yet that we could go check out. It's quite a big building. Uh there might be some good books and stuff there. There's also the Gigamart that we haven't been to. Laundromat, I believe we've been to. The bank we haven't been into. There's a toy store, clothing store. There's a pharmacy. There's an ice cream parlor at the back. Like, there's quite a few places that we haven't been to. There's a hotel here with a pool. Country club. Yeah. There's the church that we were outside of at one point, I'm sure. Let's go down to the school and check it out. It's just uh, it's just along this road, this main road, if we can get loop back to it and see if we can find some more of the books that we need. The map is always the same as far as I know, yeah. Oh. Gotta do some maintenance on the old van, I think. It's pretty rough. Okay, so I think it's just down here somewhere. You know, the van is not sounding healthy. You're right about that. Some of these houses have burnt down. Okay, I believe this is the school. Let's go check it out. It's open. Oh yeah, we've been in here. We got a water cooler from here, didn't we? Let's 
gonna be hard to uh, to go through here without a flashlight at night. Let's just give it a go anyway, shall we? You guys are scared? Okay, there. We now have a flashlight. I love how he, like, holds the flashlight. It's, it's so good, isn't it? There's lots of little details in the game that are just really nice. Some rotten pineapples and stuff. Master fishing. I don't know if we have that. Uh, advanced foraging. Carpentry for beginnings, beginners. Farming for intermediates. Trapping for beginners. I'll grab the soap. I don't know if we have any foraging books, so I'll grab that too. Water bottles are all full. Is master baiting next? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know how to bait, for sure. This is the janitor's closet. There's some bleach there. Maybe there's like some pop and chips here. No, there's some orange sodas though. Um, I don't want to carry them around with me. I'm already overburdened for some reason. I'm not sure why. Oh, it's because all of my equipment is out that I'm not even using right now. Scissors, razor, all these scrap electronics as well. Oh, this cowboy hat on. It's pretty nice though. Um, just put these in here too. Okay, we're upstairs. It is a school. It looks very schooly. It's just lots of pencils and stuff. We do need garbage bags. Let's see if we can find some marijuana. There's a yo-yo. Some glue. I bet you glue, you can sniff it. There's some scrap metal inside the garbage can. Is there like a school library? These classrooms are useless. There's just nothing in them. It's like nursery or something. Maybe there's like some little baby books. No, it's just an empty notebook. Can you take this flag? I think you can, right? Pick up the stars and stripes. Hell yeah. Stars and stripes flag. <laughs> Okay, we can set that up in our in our cool base as well. Advanced tailoring, advanced first aids, mechanics for intermediates. Not sure. Let me just grab them in case. I don't know if I have all of those. There's an uncooked cockroach in there. These classrooms just look the same. Uh, mass metal work for intermediates. Okay. Master first aid. Not sure if I have it. Expert electricity. 
advanced cooking. I've read it already. First aid for intermediates. Don't know. There's an empty pop can in there too. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at this. A mop and a sponge. It's a lunch box here. Yo, check out this roof. It's huge. Kind of need to have a base here. Is um, what kind of like what are like the really popular spots to have bases? Like, what do people no normally go for? Kind of like what I did, like just like a little shack, something easy to to sort of keep track of everything in. You think my base is pretty good? Yeah, I like it. I like a small base, you know? Either farms or warehouses. Let's see if there's anything good in these lockers. Well, I gotta say, it hasn't been a great one, the school. I thought that there'd be more here, honestly. Oh, this must be the library. Adhesive tape and glue. Okay, fishing for beginners. Thank you. Okay, we've read that. Metal work for intermediates. We just picked one up. How to use generators we got. Aha. First aid for beginners. Advanced farming. Advanced metal work. Forging for intermediates. Oh, we've read this one. Farming for beginners. Advanced carpentry. Master fishing. Um, electricity for intermediates. I don't think we have that. What was this one? Metal work for beginners. Okay. All right. This this turned into an actual good run. Mechanics for beginners. Uh, forging for intermediates. Oh my God! There's so many bookcases here. Angler USA Volume Two. We have. Metalwork for intermediates. We have forging. We've read that. We've read this. Expert foraging, master farming, trapping for beginners. There's more. Master tailoring. Mechanics for intermediates. First aid for beginners, advanced fishing, electricity for beginners, we've read. That's been read, advanced farming for beginners, metal work for intermediates. Okay, I think we got some good stuff here. We should probably go because we're going to get really tired from all this, um, lugging all this stuff around. Let's go back to the car. Have I found streaming for beginners yet? Not yet. No, I'm still looking for that one. We came in from here, right? Somebody stole my car. That was the zombie in the corner, yeah. It's just not a lot of zombies. All right, well, we got a whole bunch of new books. Uh, the school run was actually not a bad one. Brum, brum, brum. Alright, 
We're on our way home. You should read one page of every book you collect so you can tell which ones you have. I don't know if I can read the advanced ones though. Or does that actually work? No, I haven't built any stairs yet. I'm still working on it. my flashlight it's really good okay let's um let's turn this bad boy off though unequip how's this thing doing generator info 37 percent fuel and 60 percent condition man the generators just go for a long time don't they it's kind of nuts okay we're very hungry um what can we make we could place some ingredients in a roasting pan again. Some eggs. We're gonna do an egg roast. With radishes. And tomato. This is going to taste delicious. And we're going to... We're going to cover it in bleach. Okay. Where's my roasting pan? Alright. Let's light this fire with... Um, fishing for beginners. Ripped sheets and a lighter. All these books that we got now. A bleach omelet, yeah. Uh, we'll dismantle this. It's all our books. I don't think we got foraging for beginners. We still need that. We're going to be highly skilled soon. Holy shit. I need another bookshelf. I can't believe it. These bookshelves are all full. Carpentry, uh, furniture, bookcase. I just need five planks to make one of these. I can get five planks. Easily. Look. Hello, five planks. There's like five right here. I don't think I can... Here we go. It's because I, I was trying to put them in my backpack. My large army backpack. I can't turn off my generator when I'm not at the shack because I've got a whole bunch of fresh food in the refrigerator that needs to uh, not, not spoil. So I leave it running. Okay, furniture, bookcase. Um, oh yeah, how do you do this again? I have to move the plant. The plant is just there now. This can fit way more books. Fishing for beginners, I think, is one that we wanted to um, do straight away. Same with metalworking. Uh, 
I think metalworking, we can actually make metal shelves and stuff, right? Oh, the stars and stripe. Okay, these magazines will read as well and then put them back, right? We're getting a little bit tired now. Uh, let's see how this roast is doing. Oh, it's almost burnt. Okay. Yeah, I'm starving. Also, my roast is burning. Bam. Okay, good. Let's put out this fire. Let's put some food away. Carrying a roasting pan around with me. I had a whole bunch of scrap electronics in here too, didn't I? Glue and stuff. Um, there we go. Let's put all those on there. Okay, and we want to place. Oh, you know why? It needs to be in here. The stars and stripes flag. Where can we put this bad boy? You can't put it above here. Yeah, you can. Look at that. Yeehaw. We got a s look at our look at our little cabin. It's great. It's great. We just need a needle so that we can finally repair our clothes and stuff and then we should be good. Taken some minor damage from uh, not eating and stuff. America. That's right. America. Okay, all my water bottles are full. Um, we're drowsy. Let's just have a quick sleep. It's 7 a.m. All right, so now that we've done the um, the school. Man, did that scare anybody else? Like the moment I walked out of the door, it had to do that. Stay home today? You think it's a like a bad omen? When I got work to do. I gotta hit the town. <laughs> gotta paint the town red. Do some off road driving here. Oop. Look, there's another white van here. I'm just perfect. I mean, maybe we can uh, take take that one apart. Get some upgrades for this. Let's check out this mail uh, building.
There's a lot of zombies here. Oh, there's like an alarm or something going off somewhere. I can hear it. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of zombies here. <laughs> a little bit scared. I'm dead. Oh, there's so many. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, I did not have a line of sight. How did I not see those guys, though? God, we survived for a month and 13 days. Oh, it was the bad omen. Oh, it must have been the bad omen. Man, how did I not see those guys coming over the fence, though? Shit. Look at the trail of uh, zombies that we killed back here, too. Hey, look, our guy is still here, too. We could do a new character on this world, but it's Builder, right? Oh, our poor dude. He just had a haircut and a beard, too. Gerald. Make a new character and loot? I think, um, I think we're gonna do Sandbox next right with more zombies make it a little bit more exciting even though like we got owned there there was a lot of zombies there we probably shouldn't have tried to fight all of the ones in town sandbox and no spawn i think could be kind of fun actually yeah we can just like gradually clear out areas yeah the the uh the nightstick uh has like a cleave effect to it right so the hunter knife was just one i got too cocky yeah would I recommend this game in its current state? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. In the um, the the beta, the build um, was it build forty one or whatever. In sandbox, you can set a multiplier to the XP gain. I don't know if I'll bother to do that though. I think let's let's try to leave as much of it unchanged as we can, but we'll just have more zombies, so that it's you know we're we're just not like free roaming around the city and never encountering anything, you know. Pick more negative perks next time. I don't know if I'm ready to do that, but... Um, so, if we quit to menu, we want to start a new game with sandbox rules. Let's do these rules and stuff. Maybe make a quick start and then uh, we can like always carry on tomorrow or whatever, right? Okay, solo. Uh, custom sandbox. Um... I mean, we can do Riverside again. We're starting to get really familiar with Riverside, right? Like, we know our way around. I mean, we don't have to set up in the same shack and stuff again, right? Raven Creek is just a full-blown city. A new town. How come I don't have those playstyles? I'll have one week later and one month later. Oh, you gotta have the beta, that's why. If you go to in Steam, go to betas, and you can you can choose. And I think the one you want is like it's either Build Forty One or I lost my save or something like that. They're both the same thing apparently. Yeah, yeah, I know all the maps are connected. I, I just like I'm just thinking like maybe we start in Riverside and then we can just work our way through, sort of thing. We know where stuff is in Riverside, so maybe it might be a little bit easier, right? Okay, so population, zombie count, normal, high, zombie distribution, urban focused, changing this sets the population multiplier advanced option. So, what's the, I don't want insane, that's just going to be too much, right? Normal is what I saw the first time I played. Okay, so we just want normal then? 
Okay, I'll go normal with urban focus. Time, fine, world. Water shut off and electricity shut off, that's fine. House alarms frequency sometimes. Locked houses frequency very often. Normal food spoilage and stuff. Loot respawn, none. Hours for removal list? What does that mean? Number of hours since an item was dropped on the ground before it is removed. Items are removed the next time that part of the map is loaded. Zero means the items are not removed. <sighs> Do we want them to be removed? You can pick builder preset on the button and change from there. Removal list is whitelist. Months since the apocalypse, zero. Darkness during night, normal. Fire spread, generator working in exterior. Initial gas station amount, normal. Nature. Temperature, rain, erosion speed, erosion days, farming speed. All this stuff is fine. Two weeks compost time, snow on ground. Sadistic AI director. Helicopter, once. Meta event and sleeping event. Governs nighttime metagame events during the player's sleep. How often zombies attracting metagame events like distant gunshots will occur? Okay. How regularly helicopters pass over the event zone? I think once is enough. Generator spawn sometimes. Generator fuel consumption, all this kind of stuff. Loot rarity is fine. Character is all fine. Zombie lore, advanced zombie options, population multiplier 1, start multiplier, peak multiplier, respawn hours. The number of hours that must pass before zombies may respawn in a cell. If zero, spawning is disabled. Okay, this is the one that we want to set to zero, right? The number of hours that a chunk must be unseen before zombies may respawn in it. So because I've set respawn hours to zero, it's that doesn't nothing happens multi hit is turned off where is that follow sound distant redistribute hours number of hours that must pass before zombies migrate to empty parts of the same cell if zero migration is disabled we want them to migrate and stuff right This isn't a zombie list run, no. It's going to have a lot of zombies, but they're not going to respawn. So that we have a chance to potentially clear out big areas, which could be could be kind of cool. They're still going to migrate and stuff, though. So You'd set respawn unseen to zero? What does that do? The number of hours that a chunk must be unseen before zombies may respawn in it. All right. We've got respawning turned off, so it shouldn't really matter, right? Normal isn't a lot of zombies. I think it's a lot more than Builder, though, right? Respawn multiplier will let will still let them respawn. So we just set this to zero. The burger flipper will rise again. Check character for multi-hit. Um, weapon multi-hit. Oh yeah, that's really good too, right? Okay. And zombie lore. Speed, fast shamblers. Proper zombies. Blood and saliva can transmit. Normal toughness, normal strength. Infection, mortality. So this is apocalypse. Infection, mortality, instant. Okay, so if we get infected, boom, we turn immediately. There's no like, there's no lead time. Like, it's just like, we're, we're it's game over the minute we get infected. So we don't have to like um and awe ah about whether or not, oh, did we, are we infected or whatever? Yeah, I think that's pretty cool too. 
Um, what else? Fast shamblers? What are the sprinters? I don't like the sound of that. Fast shamblers is fine for me. Fast shamblers is just the normal one, right? I don't want to turn infection off. I just don't want to have to, you know, spin the wheel and wait for three days to find out, you know? Sprinters run as fast as some cars? Oh my god. Jeez. Crawl under vehicle? Crawlers only? So, I guess crawl under vehicle is a new mechanic whereby people used to use vehicles to make like big wall barricade things, right? But now um, they made it so that zombies will just crawl under the vehicle like to get to you okay sight hearing normal fence lunge drag down zombie house alarm triggering so allow zombies to trigger house alarms when breaking through windows and doors oh my god can you imagine okay so we so we think that the zombie count of normal is going to be too low like the first time I played on Survivor, is that the is that the default population for Survivor? Item removal to zero. What was that under? Nature? I can't remember where that was. Respawn time for zombies. I don't want them to respawn ever. I don't I want I, I want them to migrate and do all the normal stuff, but I don't want them to I don't want any respawning. That was the point of going into sandbox. Save the preset so if you die you don't need to do this again. No, well we can just create a new character, right? If we die. Item removal was in world. Water shut off, uh, loot respawn none, loot scene prevent hours, hours for removal list. So we just, so no matter what, stuff that ends up on the ground. Zero means items are not removed. So anything I drop on the ground will just be there forever. If I save this preset, it'll save it to Apocalypse, though, right? One week later, survival six months later. If I save my own. Save this sandbox preset. Call it, um, no, no respawns. Okay. Yeah? Try it like this. Set it to a big number. Yeah, okay. All right. Who's our first character in this in this crazy world gonna be? A security guard? Light-footed and sprinting? He's a night owl? Carpenter? A burglar? Light-footed, nimble, and sneaking? A repairman? A farmer? A fisherman? One doctor? A veteran? Oof. <laughs> Desensitized. <laughs> I like that. We were a burger flipper last time. What about a mechanic? A mechanic seems like it would be kind of nuts though, right? At the start. What about construction worker? Where's the dad occupation? Yeah, there isn't one. We don't have to take an, a, a, an occupation. We can just go through this and take stuff that we want or whatever. What about a repairman? We could be a repairman. A fisherman. It's there, unemployed. Yeah. Okay, we'll be an unemployed handy guy. Carpentry maintenance. Do we want to be strong? Strong and athletic? Okay, let's be strong and athletic, but then also let's be like... Um, illiterate? <laughs> Underweight? 
We could be a slow learner, a slow healer, a restless sleeper, high thirst, a hemophobic. Get stressed when bloody. Asthmatic? Unlucky. You want to just be unlucky and see what happens? <laughs> Disorganized? Hard of hearing. Hardy appetite. A pacifist. Prone to illness. More prone to disease and a faster rate of zombification. Sleepyhead smoker. Okay, let's be a smoker this time as well. Uh, claustrophobic. Agoraphobic. Weak stomach. Slow reader. Short-sighted. Cowardly? Clumsy? All thumbs. Sunday driver. <laughs> Let's be a Sunday driver as well. What else can we get? Underweight? Low strength, low endurance, and prone to injury. But we have athletic and strong already though, right? I am a Sunday driver. True. True. Sleepyhead? Needs more sleep? Conspicuous. More likely to be spotted by zombies. Okay, let's do that. And then we have one more that we could get. Let's get cat's eyes in here because it's a nice one. And then we'll just do what? Clumsy? Okay, let's be clumsy as well. And then... Oh, man. There's no, like, minus ones. Okay, let's just go like this. Katrina McGowan. Oh my god. Okay. Sure. This is us. We look like uh, like a phys ed teacher or something. Speed demon is one point. Unlucky will greatly increase chance of uh, Zed infection from scratches. That's fine. We're going to try it out. Okay. We're going like this. Katrina McGowan. We'll just see how it goes. Yeah, we'll we'll just we'll make a start and then we'll we'll carry on a bit tomorrow. I got to go like pretty soon. At least we have everything set up ready to go, right? stream will end in five minutes anyway oh come on we'll see what the zombie population is like and see if we can survive a bit longer okay look at our fitness and our strength though holy crap those seem like super op okay let's take this lemon uh, let's attach this rolling pin to our back. Take a can opener. Let's take a can chili as well. Can eat it later. It's foggy. There's some toothpaste in there. Tailoring for intermediates and expert electricity. We don't need those right now. We don't want to weigh ourselves down too much, right? Let's try to get a, some sort of idea of where we are right now. I think that is quite loud. Oh. We're really strong. <laughs> it's the strength, I think. It's just like we can just one-shot them with a rolling pin. I have no idea where we are right now, by the way. I'm just going to sneak around. Oops. Hello. Okay. I lied about the strength. We're not actually that strong. We're just creeping around here trying to find out... Trying to get our bearings a little bit. We might have to piece out of here quick. We can take out a couple of them as we go, though. Oh, God. 
the rolling pin is not great, is it? It isn't a good one. I think there's one in here. Uh, we took the unlucky trait, didn't we? Which should be interesting. Oh, it's trying to get in there. I see. Um, tailoring for beginners? Sure. We can read that one later. It's a plastic bag. Plunger and a bath towel. I'm out. Uh, we're clumsy and we get spotted by zombies a lot easier than uh, than we normally would. So we have to be extra careful. I think we get a little bit of help from the fog here. Uh, we're... I still don't really know where we are, actually. Is this... Is this, like, sort of, um, like, northwest of the town? Like, is this the cemetery here or something? I don't know. Oh, my gosh. God, I need a weapon. I need some military boots, too. Uh, our old guy is dead. He died. We got into a uh, big fight with a lot of zombies, and we got surrounded and died. This isn't too bad so far, actually. This is the shack in the cemetery. Okay, I know where we are, then. house. Not bad, yeah. Um, if we get some sheets, we could try to, like, live here or something. Uh, a lighter? Good. We need to find some cigarettes. There's no food in here. Looks like somebody was just moving in here. Oh, look at these. Advanced electricity. There's some electricity for beginners. Tailoring for beginners. Let's just read this now quick. Let's drink some water. Um, this is red. Angler USA. Done. Ooh, nice. That's a great find. Holy crap. Pretty lucky. Didn't check the fridge, did we? Some beef jerky here. Alright, let's get some of this stuff loaded into here. Lighter. Tailoring for beginners. I'm going to take some vitamins while I'm here, too. What's the plan now? We just got to find weapons and stuff and just try to, like, find a, a place that we, that we can live that's not going to be swamped constantly. I mean, this is this neighborhood's not bad, actually. It's, it's pretty empty. Oh, let's see if that truck is working. Good cooking magazine. Okay, grab that. Just grab these books, and when I read them, we'll just discard them. 
I'll try to find somewhere that we can sleep later as well. Locked? Oh, there's a first aid kit here. All right, that house is burnt down. I'm running for it. Oh my god. He's got a house alarm on that little house? Oh shit. Oh my god. They're going to be coming from everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Let's just run out into the woods for now. And hope for the best. It's going to be really busy over there. In like no time. Yeah, that house is a, is a total write-off. We can't get anywhere near there now. Maybe we can just make a cool base in the cemetery. Come on, rolling pin. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. We have a watch. Another one, too. We need a screwdriver, though. We don't have one of those. Oh, there's a couple of cars here at the church. There's some zombies there, too. Some matches. No key, though. Man, these are such church cars. Aha! Very good. Hey. Is that a Master Horizon key? Did I not pick it up? Hey, where did I put it? Oh, I put it in my bag. Oh, this is the key for this car. It's because it was in my bag. No fuel. Okay, well, we can't really sleep in the church. Uh, the gas station's not far. We can find a gas can. That's a car. This is my trail of destruction from the start of the game. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of them over there. Will God smite me? And I hope not. Oh. oh, they're on the other side here. Oh, 
Okay. We'll just hop in here and see what's going on. Okay, there's a hammer, there's a shovel. The shovel on our back is probably better than the rolling pin. Um, felt right for this hammer. There's a leaf rake. And a light bulb. Okay, let's use the shovel instead. I think it's better, right? get some privacy in here we can um, we can stop for a bit and read some stuff actually this might be a good place to uh, to end because I gotta go we've been streaming for a little while already and I gotta go we'll carry on tomorrow though for a bit these are both unread yeah the burger flippers dead unfortunately okay we'll carry on from here tomorrow okay this is uh there doesn't seem to be that there's definitely more zombies but not many more but i guess it's just the start though right once we start going into town and stuff there'll be way more right yeah avoid getting in close when meleeing use the advantage of range when attacking with melee weapons because closing in for a pushover will open you up for bites yeah i know just drink some bleach first real quick. Okay, I'll do it, yeah. Um, all right, well, we're we're still alive. And we actually, we made some good progress here. We got the duffel bag. We got some food. We got lots of books and stuff to read. We could try to watch some TV later and stuff too. And then um, we'll see how we go. This is a, a sandbox world that we created with normal zombie population, which is higher than the builder one. But um, we've turned off respawning um so that um we have a chance of like clearing out areas and stuff i think that'll be a lot more interesting we'll try it anyway see how it goes um but uh but yeah we lost our burger flipper in a uh in a in a zombie um accident it was terrible uh go 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 one five five thanks for the five gift sub sorry i missed it i must have been uh, really engrossed uh apologies for that but thanks very much for the gift subs i appreciate it uh chat I'll be back tomorrow. I think the plan is tomorrow. I'm recording Triforce in the morning, and then uh, we'll play some Zomboid, and then I think we're playing Back for Blood with uh, with Hat Films tomorrow afternoon at uh, three. I think it. I think they said for a couple of hours. So we'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Good. It's an all day or tomorrow. I don't know if it. We there might be like a little break in between because I still need to help out with the baby and stuff, but. We'll try to make it as much of an all day or as we can, yeah? Um, we managed to get like three hours in today, which is pretty good. Terry got out. No, no, he's uh, he's off to the side uh, sleeping. Where are those poops, though? I hope he hasn't, like, eaten them. That's gross. They were huge ones, too. I'll have to go investigate. Uh, he may have eaten them. Yuck. Uh, Back for Blood, yeah. Back for Blood is pretty good actually so far. I've been uh, I've been enjoying it. So um, we'll uh, we'll do some of that. Yeah. Uh, LOL. Lots of love. Chat. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for the resubs. And thanks for all the donations as well. We lost um, we lost a brave trooper today uh, who survived for just over a month, uh, one month and thirteen days, um, but got killed by a lot of zombies after being very careless in the middle of town. We'll try not to uh, let that happen again. We'll just see how it goes. Yeah? Okay. Chat. Uh, LOL. Lots of love. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow for some more. Okay? All right. See you then. Bye, chat. See you later. Bye. Bye.